Hi everybody, my name is Kylie Sherbel. I am the Madison High School head dance coach and I absolutely love my job. I love the community, I love the girls, I love the everything. You people are incredible and I'm so blessed to get to work with every one of you. You are creating these incredibly high caliber uh, youth and and I am surrounded by incredible people and and I so if you are wanting to be a part of this team just know you are walking into an incredibly positive and wonderful experience and I am so grateful that you want to be a part of it uh, we would typically do this as a pre tryout parent meeting but because of COVID-19 we want to be safe the state has granted us this opportunity and we are really grateful for it so I'm gonna try and keep this video extra short please forgive my super fast talking and uh, please be willing to do all the reading from on our Facebook page of all the documents that we will refer to and also please be willing to um, call and ask questions uh, over anything don't ever be afraid to call text or email me any and all questions that you may have confusion or anything like that please don't don't make the decision until you feel fully educated about our program and have that to to be able to make your decision because we want everybody to to be a part of it and um, it would also break my heart if you didn't have all the information and you chose not to do it and then you found out later that we could have worked with you so know that we're here for you uh, uh, purpose of my dance team huge create a program. I want to create a program that is that everybody wants to be a part of. I want to represent Madison High School with um, grace and poise. I want these girls to come out of here as well-rounded individuals. I want them to be kind. I want them to, to be good communicators and uh, really incredibly talented girls, dancers in every way. I want them to be kind to each other, but also to be kind to others. I want them to be organized. I want them to um, learn life skills that will help them throughout their life. I want them to have things that they can put on a resume. That's important to me too. Um, so they will have lots of opportunities to do all of that. And I'm grateful uh, that you guys want to be a part of it. So we will talk about finances first. Uh, that's the biggest one and the scariest one. First off, this number is scary and you're gonna be scared of it no matter where you're at financially, but know that I'm, we, prices are raising for these, these girls and their materials that they need and we have cut it down to the very bare minimum. We won't make you purchase anything that is unnecessary and excessive. We've, we've tried very hard to make sure that we are trying to be sensitive and uh, take into account all financial situations and I mean all financial situations so the total price will be somewhere between 900 and 950 I know that's crazy please don't turn the video off yet we will work with you call me if that is what is what your biggest hang-up for being on the team is call me or text me or email me and I promise you I will have an answer for you that your daughter will still be able to participate and you will be happy as a parent Please know that I will work with you um, and in one way is the our fundraisers so we as coaches will be in charge of a few fundraisers but not all of them we encourage parents to uh, we will put together a committee for you and you guys will do your own fundraisers whatever you want to do as many as you want to do however we as coaches will put together a few and they will be big money makers we have our showcase coming up in May May 1st is our projected date but with COVID-19 it may have to be pushed back into the summer I don't know but that's our projected date and we would like to keep it there if possible that is a huge money maker for individual dancers fees if they want to cut their fees in half it is a hundred percent possible if they do the work so the showcase is for um, Ev all the dancers new and and dancers from this last year as well so your your daughter coming onto the team will have the opportunity to significantly cut her fees um, if she participate in this this fundraiser and then uh, we will also have our um, Jamba Juice cards that we were super successful with this year. We will we will organize Jamba Juice card sales during the summer and during the Christmas holiday. And then we will also do uh, the mini dance camp during the Halloween season. It was an incredibly successful 
um, a fundraiser last year this this last year and we are we are so excited to do it again we just they were so successful so that all goes directly to your daughter's individual fees and then we will also teach them how to go out and get sponsors and we will help them get sponsors as well so please know fees are manageable that's just a few ways but call me and I will continue to work with you if that's not satisfying enough um, the time commitment, thats it's a big one uh, for parents and uh, daughters. So know that you will sign a contract and the parents will also sign a contract which will give you all of the information. So please go on the Facebook page and read through the contract with your parents. You both have to sign it. It's not just, it's, it's you have to be okay with what, what we're asking you to do because girls, if you don't, you will have consequences. I follow this contract very to a, very precisely to a T. I, I do not waver from the contract. Um, I, I really am very strict with my contract. And so please go on and look at that. If you break the rules, you suffer the consequences. Um, and parents also, if, if you know you don't know the commitment and you're not willing to fulfill the commitment or help your daughter fulfill the commitment then your daughter will also receive consequences for that as well so please know what you're signing up for please read through the contract and know what we expect uh, so there's no surprises and like I said you will both need to sign that time commitment we will have um, during the school year we perform for every varsity boys football and basketball home games so it's a ton of performance time um, and you get to represent your school you get to um, be a part of Madison High School we want to be most most uh, importantly yes competition is fun and we love it and we want to do it and be good at it but we want you to be incredibly um, good uh, representers of Madison High School respectful and honorable and and wholesome uh, people that that work together and create this beautiful form of entertainment that we express ourselves for the entire school and people look forward to during halftime that's what we really want and uh, so that's what we are trying to create and I promise you parents that you uh, your your daughters wherever whatever morals they they believe in whatever um, whatever any anything that you guys um, hold true to I promise I will never compromise your daughter's integrity in any way uh, music costumes uh, dance anything like that I want to make sure that it is all very tasteful and clean and um, and uh, but also but also nice and and uh, up with the times uh, we are um, our time commitment in the summer you will have the first week in June is completely full we have a, two dance camps, our ballet camp and our cougarette camp, where we have a cougarette come and choreograph some competition things, and the girls are going to be sore. It is mandatory. We need them there the first week in June. They will be very behind if they don't come. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we will have practices in the early, early mornings. Um, practice time is to be determined somewhere between, they will come somewhere between 5.30 and 6.30, and they will stay for an hour and 15 minutes twice a week that's all I'm asking an hour and 15 minutes but I'm also really flexible with that because it's summer and you have family reunions and vacations and lives and jobs and all these things so please know I'm flexible during the summer and um, but we will have we will have regular practices twice a week you will also have an optional gymnastics class that Gym Madison Gymnastics has been very very generous to allow us a private teacher for that specific time slot on Wednesdays in the mornings and uh, they will give you private instruction on uh, all of the tricks and, and acrobats that we're gonna need for our competition season. So it is advised that you take it from her because if you you know want to learn how to do all that for competition season and our routines, then it's safest to do it with a professional person. Um, and so I encourage you to do it, but I'm also not making it mandatory because it's an extra expense. So then, um, I 
We'll also, uh, the 4th of July parade, we will march in the 4th of July parade. It'll be great. And then we will also have, uh, when the school year starts, we will be practicing during fifth period. You will register for fifth period dance for first and second trimester. And we will practice every day until 4.30. So fifth period until 4.30 every single day during the school year until third trimester. And then it cuts down to twice a week for one hour after school, that's it. You don't register for a class or anything like that. So you can still do spring sports and you can still do all the things you wanna do, but um, know that you will twice a week, one hour during third trimester because we still have state during third trimester. So it is still required that you be here during third trimester. And uh, we are competitions. Competition, we do the Madison competition for sure, which is mid-January. We do the uh, Rigby competition, which is very shortly after, I think it's the week after, maybe two weeks after the Madison competition. So it's a really busy time that January beginning of February and then we also have our district competition which is also a local competition somewhere close it'll be somewhere close um, we don't exactly know where yet and then we will also um, go to state um, so we will have we will have um, uh, that it's in Boise state is in Boise and it's mid mid March mid end of March it was supposed to be this coming weekend the 20th and 21st so it they try and keep the dates similar every year uh, I think that's it all of our documents all of our information is on our Facebook page and we will have a link on the face on the the YouTube channel so please come and ask me questions call me text me email me with anything that you may be confused about like I said if there is a hang-up please get the information first and see if I can work with you before you write it off because we want you to be a part of our team all right thanks so much uh, bye